need someone reliable. It's a short 50 grand investment. Can you handle it? I need to put 25,000 into each of my daughter's accounts. There's been a change of plan, and they're going to make the announcement in two days' time. This is Graham. Please to meet you. Please to meet you, too. My burner phone. I left it in the office. I want it back now. I think I'll keep hold of it for now, eh? Guess I never really supported you properly, did I? Well, we couldn't really hear anything in the end. This is a listening device that I made from an old phone. Looks like it's switched off, right? And can you hear me? I want your pass, and I want you gone immediately. Do you know anyone who set up their own company? A cleaning company, you mean? Mm. Really glad to see you again. Hello, Alice. I'm Warren. I need to get a deposit from you. Fifteen hundred pounds. I could possibly lend you that deposit. Where the hell's all this money come from? Leave that exactly where it is, please. Too late. I'll tuck it. Where were you? Um, look, I had an issue with one of the trading accounts and, well, I couldn't go short on the pharmaceutical company. What? Why not? Well, it was, um, technical, but basically it, it was just too risky to proceed. So where's the money? I have the money, but I, I, was, I was thinking, look, maybe if I hold on to it, then I, I have it in place for our next investment. No, no, I borrowed that money from my firm. If it doesn't reappear, my accounts will soon notice. I'll need it back today. Right. So where are you now? I'll come and meet you. I'm about to get on the tube, but I'll, I'll speak to you later. Hello, Dave. Yeah, look, it's me. I, I need to speak to you. Hi. I'm Barsha, the landlady. Is Sam in? No. No, she's, she's, um, well, I, actually, I'm not sure where she is. <laughs> I'm, I'm Glyn. I'm just a friend. Right. Um, I need to come in and do a general assessment of the house before she signs a new tenancy agreement. Sam won't mind if I pop in and give it a once-over. Oh, uh, really? You don't think she'll mind about that? Well, I'm here now, so... Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, come in. Thanks. <clears throat> Not giving it back. No, I'm not asking you, Dave. I'm telling you, I need that money. OK, I'll give it to you. But it's my money. You've stolen it. Yeah, and I'm going to pay off all the credit card debt that you got us in. You don't decide what I do with it. When you put it in our daughter's bank account, yes, I do. No, you don't, Dave. If you lost any to say you have in my life and you shed this one here. Hi, uh... Hey. Um, my, my appointment got cancelled, so I just got some paint for the cupboards. Great, um... Uh, yeah, no, I can see you're in the middle of something. I'm not giving you that money, son. I'm going to do the right thing, and I'll put the rest aside for the girls. We need to start thinking about Alice going to uni. Look, nobody wants Alice to go to uni more than me. It's years away. I've got plenty of time to save up. Save up? You scarcely get by as it is, and the rest, you gamble. Yeah, okay, well, things are going to change. Oh. I'm going to check. Please, I just need that money back, Dave. Please. No. <sighs> All right, look, look, I didn't, I didn't win it gambling. Someone gave me to look after, and now they need it back. Someone gave you £50,000 to look after? Yes. Why? It's not true, is it? It's just one lie after another with you, Sam, and you expect me to trust you with our girls? How can I? I don't even know who you really are anymore. What? You should do what you're talking about. Nobody knows me better than you. I wish that was true. It is. Once, maybe. Not anymore. Oh, 
Um, I, I, I wouldn't go in there. What's going on? Sam, your agreement explicitly states that anyone found subletting will be evicted. How do you explain this? I know it's against the rules, but I just needed the money. Yes, so do I. The deposit that you still haven't given me. No, but, but uh, I will get it to you. I just... Sam, I, I gave you money for that. I don't have that now, but I will get it to you, Basha. I promise you. Look, I know you're struggling. But I need to be able to trust my tenants. Oh, yeah, and you can. I... No, I'm not sure I can, Sam. Look, it was a terrible mistake. Please. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. What? Going to have to leave? No. No, sweetheart, we're not. Um, me and Bash will come to some sort of arrangement, can't we? Please. I cannot have tenants going behind my back. I, I can move out if it's a problem. Anything, please. Just, just don't kick us out. I'm sorry. That's the end of it. I'll give you a couple of days to make new arrangements. What, what are we going to do? Do I need to call Dad? No, no, you don't. I can fix this. I'll sort something, OK? Everything's going to be fine. We've got a problem. I know. Has Francis spoken to you? No. What about? My burner phone. I didn't get a chance to pick it up before I left. Now it's gone. Isn't that what you wanted to see me about? No. Shit. Then what? Your friend Nancy, she got 50 grand of my money. I don't know where she is. Nancy, I, I don't know anyone called Nancy. You never worked with someone called Nancy? <sighs> She's not one of your helpers with the investments. Swanee, I don't know what you're talking about, OK? Now, what is going on? Hi, Pasha. Look, it's Sam again. Um, please. Uh, please, please call me back. Uh, I'm just hoping we can sort something out. Um, OK, thanks. Bye. Hey, Glenn. Look, I'm so sorry about everything. I'm just trying to sort it all out now. Yeah, that's, um... What happened to my money, Sam? Uh, I just had to pay off a debt. Look, please, I, I don't need this right now, OK? Well, not really. You lied to me. Yeah, well, it was just a little white lie until I got paid, you know, and then there wouldn't have been a problem. Lying is the problem. People don't like it. They get annoyed. And, you, you know, I just... I just, <laughs> I don't think you're setting a very good example to the girls, lying all the time. How dare you tell me how to raise my girls? I'm not, but, you know, kids Lily's age can pick up on their parents' bad I'll habits stop and... stop right there. I think it's best you leave. Well, we're all leaving because of you. You haven't met this woman. She's incredibly convincing. She knew everything. Well, she's the one who's got my phone. I mean, that, that's the only logical explanation. We need to get it back, right? That thing could bury us all. <laughs> You're not joking. Hey, I've got a wife and daughter to think about. I don't care what happens to that woman. I'm not going to jail, right? So she needs to bring us the money and the phone, or we're going to have to get Graham involved. He's going to deal with things his way. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't meet up earlier. It just, no, um... no, that's OK. Don't worry about it. Now, listen, don't worry about the money. I managed to move some things around, so we're all good. Uh, what? Yeah, a little bit of creative accounting was all that was needed. And uh, I want you to keep hold of that for our next investment. Our next investment? Yeah, of course. I mean, in fact, that was the reason for my call. I was wondering if you could swing by the house tomorrow and we can uh, talk a few things through. If you're still keen, that is. Oh, uh, tomorrow, um... What do you say? Yeah, I'm in. I'll see you tomorrow. Great.
Hey, you okay? Hi. Yeah, great. Come on in. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, listen, I'm really sorry about yesterday. Everything that happened with the account. Oh, don't worry about it. These things happen. But I'm just making a coffee. Do you want one? Uh, yeah, please. Come on through. So, um, you have something new in the pipeline? Well, it's a few weeks away, yeah. So, we've got time. OK, that's good. You OK? I just... You seem a bit... Oh, yesterday was such a nightmare. I'm just so glad that it's not a problem. <laughs> Uh, do you mind if I use your bathroom quickly, please? Yeah, of course. It's uh, upstairs and then on the right. Thanks. Blake, how many times have I got to tell you about this? I know, but I've spoken to Swanee. I think we know who's got our phone. We're meeting her right now. <sighs> yeah, what do you want? They know you're not Nancy. What? They want the phone and the money. Blake is on his way over there right now. Don't you dare tell them anything about me. <sighs> Nancy? Yeah, my cars are packed up now, so I should probably head off. It's gonna be weird without you, Glenn. You're gonna come back, right? Yeah, I can come and visit. If that's okay with you, Mum. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks, you've been amazing. I'll, um, I'll be in touch about the money. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, you should probably check upstairs. There's a, a stain on the carpet. I had a bit of an incident with some WD-40, um, and it's just kind of... It's kind of spilt, just... Well, anyway. See you, girls. Bye, Glenn. Mum, did you get a chance to speak to Barsha again? Uh, no, not yet. She's... She's been ignoring my calls. Well, should I... Do you want me to call Dad now? Or... No, um... Well, I'm sure I'll speak to her at some point, but I was thinking maybe in the meantime we could go and live with Jess for a little while. What, the three of us in Jess's little flat? What about all our stuff? I don't know. Maybe we can make it work. Mum, I, I don't think there's enough space for us there. I think it might be time for us to ring Dad, let him know what's happened. Yeah.
Hey, Dad. Uh, there's a... Oh, there's a, a problem at Mum's house. We have to move out. I never wanted this for you or the girls. This is the family home. So Alice says you're going to go and stay with Jess for a bit. Mm-hmm. You take this. No, I really don't want that. Don't be stupid. Just take it. Just don't gamble with it. Hey, come here. You're packed up and ready? Yeah. Oh. Come on, none of this. You're gonna have a great time at your dad's, all right? You call me when you're settled in, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Goodbye, house. Come on, Lils. Just give me a call later. Let me know you're all right. Then. We've got no idea. But she must be from the office, though. I mean, how else would she have gotten my phone? Well, I don't know. He's the one who's been doing business with her. But do you think she's FCA, working undercover or something? Can you find that out? Of course not. Who would I ask? You said you shared a cab home with her the other week. Yeah. So you know where she lives? No, I got out first. You've got a number, though? Yeah. Yeah. Call her. Leave a message. Tell her we're coming for the phone and the money. She can't hide forever. if they don't find me. You know, I can tell them where you live and who you really are. I don't live there anymore. And I'll tell them that you and me have been in this together from day one. That you've known about me from the very beginning. They won't believe you. Oh, really? <laughs> A cleaner working right under your nose and you never notice? I don't think so. So this is how you want to live your life? Constantly worrying about who's following you and the kids. Or who's around the next corner? We'll be fine. Hello, Alice. Uh, we met at that meeting. Oh. Yeah, I've been looking for your mum. Right. How do you know my mum again? Oh, I'm pretty sure it was at a roulette table where we first met. Bowled her out of trouble over the years. She's done the same to me now and then. That's why it was nice seeing her at a group. It'd be great if she came back. Yeah, I think so too. That's why I wanted to chat to her face to face, you know, encourage her to come along. Are the girls all right? Ah, uh, yeah, I oh, thanks. Um, well, I mean, they didn't want to leave, but I thought they'd be OK. Yeah, and you're going to be all right. You know you can stay as long as you need. Thanks, babe. I'll only be here a few days, you know, and then... 
Well, I'll, I'll find my own place in no time. Yeah, it'll be fun. Mm. Oh, hey, look at you. Oh. <laughs> Have a little businesswoman now. Yeah, my business plan for the van. But, you know, I don't look too closely at the sums. But on second thoughts, you should definitely give it the once over. Oh, yeah, actually, now I think of it, I don't think that pie chart adds up to 100. I'm joking, it does, I think. <laughs> Although maths was never your strong point. Hey, babe, <laughs> whose phone is this? I found it in your bedside drawer. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's mine. What do you need this second phone for? <sighs> to do all my drug deals with. <laughs> Whatever, what are you here for anyway? Uh, what Sam's going to be staying with us for a little while. <laughs> Since when was this decided? Since I decided it. Now piss off, we're talking. Whose fan is that really? It's just something Glyn gave me. I said I could use it to spy on my boyfriend again if I need to. All oh, right, Glyn. Hmm. You still haven't spoken to him yet? Well, everything's gonna be fine, okay? I promise. Mum, I don't know if Dad's told you this, but he said he's moved some money around and he's worked out a way I can go to uni now if I want to. You know, if I get my grades. Yeah, well, I didn't want to spoil the surprise in case you didn't know, but it's great, isn't it? Yeah, I can't believe it. That man was looking for you. What man? You know your friend we saw at a meeting? He wanted to talk to you about gambling. You didn't tell him where I was, did you? Well, I... Kind of. I said you were staying at your friend Jess's. Well, if he comes by again, just let me know, all right? And please be careful, won't you? Yeah. I know it's the end of an era, but we'll have the van up and running in no time. So don't worry, OK? Everything's going to be fine. Look, I know you've got your heart set on this van, but, um... I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it. What? Why not? I was talking to the owner about who's taking over the lease for this place. Well, and? They've offered me a job. What? No! No, 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 no! No, because we're going to do our own thing, our own business. I just feel starting over again now is just, just too much for me. Look, I know you're scared in case it all goes wrong, but I really believe in this I know, man. love, but I just can't do it. I can't. Love? When you're out, Kate, just get out! Just get out! Hey, just get out! Oh, look, I'm sorry, I don't need to have the van. I just thought, look, if you're not going to use it, you know, it's just an idea, babe. Let's talk about this. No, there's nothing to talk about. I'm just not using me, because I'm the only one who stands for your shit. Well, not anymore, OK? No, this is it. We're done. And I'm sick and tired of his shit. I'm not taking it anymore. Well, good. He was punching, babe, big time. <laughs> so what's going on now? Your van's not happening, eh? Ugh, I don't know, but I'm tired of taking orders from bloody men. <laughs> we should be the ones in charge. You know what? Maybe we should. I did have this idea. What is it? <sighs> well, I was thinking, maybe we could set up a cleaning company. Not to clean, but to, you know, find out inside information. Yeah. We could clean law firms in the city, and we'd be our own boss. So no victor to hide from, no one getting in our way. Yeah. And if I sold my van, you know, that'd be enough to get things off the ground, I reckon. Exactly. Do you know what, actually, this could be huge. Yeah. Now, we could get contracts all over. Think how many offices we could buck. You know what, come on. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> You don't mind getting that, do you, babe? And if it's Chris, tell him to piss off. I don't want to see him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hello, Sam. No digs. What do you want? Well, I haven't dropped by for your hospitality. You still owe me a considerable amount of money. 
Did you think moving house was going to make that problem disappear? No, of course not. I'm going to pay you back. What's the matter, anyway? Slow date the races, was it? What? You, gambling. <laughs> well, I haven't got a gambling problem, Sam. I just like going because there's always someone there who needs helping out. Now, the interest on your loan goes up every day, Sam. It's £14,000. So you need to get back on track or I'm going to have to pay Alice another little visit. You leave my daughter alone. I was just ringing in to see if the girls are okay. Yeah, of course they're okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. I just... Well, I just want to make sure that they do as they're told and that they stay safe. I've only been doing this for 15 years, but, yeah, okay. No, sorry, it's just... Just look after them for me, won't you? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll speak to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Jess, what are you doing in here? This isn't what it looks like. OK, well, maybe it is. Um, yeah. None of my uni friends had a spare room till after Christmas, so I just thought, you know, I hope you don't mind. So your boyfriend doesn't live here anymore? No, he's moved out. Come on in. Um... Finn's going to be staying with us for a little while. Um, Finn, look, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry about everything. I mean, you stole that money from me, so... I didn't steal it, I borrowed. No, you're right. I lied. I'll get you it back, OK? Is there any way we can move past this? Please? So, Jess said that you're, um, you're going to do this cleaning company idea you had. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, let me know if I can help in any way. That's him. All right, mate. Can I stop you there? Well, who are you? I'm a friend of Alice. I believe you know her mum. Yeah, that's right. Well, is there a problem with that? Maybe. She thinks you're harassing her. Alice? Whatever give you that idea? She did. I saw how scared she was when I mentioned I'd seen you. I don't think you know her from gambling at all. Really? Yes. So you'd best leave her alone. Or well, what exactly? Well, you don't want to find out, no? No? Well, you could have done your point, eh? Hey? What are you going to do? No. Listen, your rich mum owes me a considerable amount of money. 14 grand, to be precise, and I'm rather keen on getting that back. If she's got a problem with that, we'll sort it out now. Huh? What do you reckon, eh? What, you got a problem with that? Good. Are you okay? Sam can't do it all ourselves. Our own cleaning company? Yeah. To do what? To clean offices? No, to bake loads of bread. <laughs> yeah, of course, to clean offices. No, no, no. I mean, a cleaning company that, well, clean, that just mops and wipes, or a cleaning company that's dirty? Oh, come on. That's not the nicest way of describing it. I'd like to say it's a cleaning company that is branching out into other fields, you know? One that specifically targets places that we know has inside information like law firms that do mergers and takeovers and stuff, yeah? Like we'll start out small, first of all, just the three of us. But then once the money starts rolling in, you know, we'll get more people on board. This is our way of giving back to people like us. So you're in, yeah? I'm in. Ah, you see, this is it, girls, yeah? No more taking shit from supervisors. We're going to go out there and get it on our own. But we don't have the phone, so just forget about it. It's not me that's asking anymore, is it, Sam? What's she talking about? 
If you push men like Graham and Swanee into a corner, one way or another, they are going to get out of it. Yeah, and so will we. No, you won't. These people, they're ruthless. They will find out what you care about most and they will use it against you. Is it really worth putting your girls in harm's way of a 50 grand? Right, I'm going to tell Graham that you've come to your senses and you want to meet him to return the money in the phone. But if you don't show up, I will tell them who you really are. Well, that's it, you've got no choice. You're going to have to tell him the truth. Oh, yeah, don't worry, Dave. I didn't really win the money gambling. I just used our girls' accounts to help an insider trading network. It's all good. You need to get that money back. You heard what she said. They will harm your girls. I can't get it back. Why not? Because if Dave finds out why I really have it, then well, he'll never forgive me, and that'll be it between us. So what? Well, I thought he's living with another woman. You know. Hmm? Look, come on, there has to be another way. Oh. Sorry, it's just a business meeting. Uh, kind of. I can go upstairs. No. Hang on, Glyn. Sam, maybe there is another way. Do you have what they want? Right, let's just keep it simple, OK? And don't even think about doing anything stupid up there. Let's just stick to the story. And we don't know each other, understand? Before you say anything, give us a bug. Francis, check her out. But what we have here, take a look. It's all good. My burner phone's fine. Everything's how I left it. So, where's the money? He's coming. Where is it? Well, I have a proposition for you first. I either give you the 50 grand and walk away, or I keep the money and I continue to work for you. Doing what? Yeah, we don't even know who you are, love. Well, she's not a trader. I know that much. It's fine. Who are you? I'm a cleaner. What? Yeah, that's right. I'm a cleaner at Cray Malo. Uh, Graham, I've, I've never seen this woman before in my life. Oh, no, you've seen me plenty of times. You just never noticed. The first time we met was at the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know who I am, but look, I can be useful for you guys. Listen, I can get in places, I can find information. I can go anywhere where the offices need cleaning. I'm invisible, you know, people don't pay me any attention. We... <laughs> So do we have a deal? Of course we don't have a deal. Why not? I really think I could bring something to this team. I don't need a cleaner to find information for me! <sighs> <laughs> That's what this is about, really, isn't it? You don't like the fact that a cleaner can be as smart as you. You're sore because I tricked you. Made you look silly. Do you know what? I don't need any of you lot. If you clowns can do it and not get caught, then I'm going to have no trouble at all. Oh, it's that easy, is it? So how, how would you set up multiple trading accounts without them linking back to you? All the money. How do you move hundreds of thousands around without the FCA knowing? You don't have the first idea how to do this properly. See, I have a system that I have refined over many years. I have got a network of informers like Swanee who supply the information. I've got traders like Blake, and they handle all the investments. What have you got? Hey, You've got nothing. You know what? You need to get Swanee's money here in the next ten minutes, or I'm going to stop being so nice. OK, well, you're going to have to let me go and get it. No, no, you're not going anywhere. OK, well, if you won't let me go, someone needs to go and get it. Where is it? It's in a locker at Cramer Low. Locker 21 in the service entrance. Shut up! Oh, not for this. Come on, kids are on the road. 
said it'd just be a short while. Sure. Please. But once she calls and says she has it, then let me go. When I know we have the money, then maybe you can go. <sighs> you took your time. The money's here. I'm on my way back. Let her go. She's got the money. The recording has our voices on it. It'll implicate all of us if you give that to the authorities. Yeah, but the FCA only need that section. You know the section where Graham explains how incredibly brilliant and smart he is. Come on. There's enough on this recording to send them down for a very long time. So you've got two options. Either you go to prison or hand this in and find a way to keep your nose out of this and mine. Where's the money? There is no money. What? You just called She's FCA. Said... Oh, geez. She wants me to be a witness and form against you. Did you know about this? Of course not. But someone is going to have to bury the evidence, so you are going to need me on the outside. She has you on tape. No, I still can't believe it worked. Well, it did. So when are we going short on Graham's company? West Avarice? Let's do it now. Well, we're going what on Graham's company? <sighs> going short is something I learned from Swanee. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it, right? So let's say you bought a brand new vacuum cleaner and you loaned it to me. I loaned you a vacuum cleaner. OK, look, just listen, yeah? Let's pretend I'm a dishonest person and I sold it for 100 quid. Now, you want yours back, but I know I can get one off eBay for a tenner, so I do. I'll give you a vacuum cleaner back. It's not yours, but you don't know. And I've made 90 quid. Sam, what is she talking about? We're betting that Graham's share price will drop, because once he's arrested, we know it will. Oh, right. Why didn't you just say that? So has the money come through from your van yet? Uh, uh, yes. I got six grand for it. Now, that's two grand more than I paid. I've already transferred it over. OK, great. Oh, look, here it is. West Avarice Incorporated. So we're going all in, yeah? Six yep. grand? Yep. Fingers crossed, girls. So it's nearly the holidays, and I was thinking maybe we could go ice skating or something. Oh, yeah, can we? <laughs> yeah, if you want it. You'll come to you at Alice? Yeah, maybe. What is it? I saw that man again the other day, Warren. What? Where? I went to a community centre. I wanted to know why I was really looking for you. He says you owe him £14,000, Mum. Is that true? You shouldn't have done that. You just stay away from him, you hear me? You're not in any danger with this man, are you? No, darling, I'm fine. I'm going to pay him back. I want you to have the money from my savings so you can do that. I don't need to go to uni. No, absolutely not, OK? You're going to work hard and you're going to be the first in our family to get a proper education. I know you can do it too. Me and Jess are setting up our own cleaning company. Really? Yeah. So money will be coming in like never before. Oh, my mum's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything's going to be fine from now on, OK? Mum, I'm so proud of you. Oh. Sweetheart. I love you. There's a cuddle. I love you. I'll see you later, girls. And I was wondering if the girls could maybe come and stay at Jess's flat with me for a few days over the holidays. Lily really wants to go ice skating, and um, well, I was just wondering if maybe you want to join us. Yeah, yeah, it'd be good to do something together. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like family again, well, sort of. Anyway. Yeah, well, let's see what we're doing. Yeah, of course. Just let me know. Um. What's the matter? Yes. Uh. Uh. Wants to get married. So we'll have to, um, 
you know, got on with a divorce and... Just thought you should know. They've been arrested. What? Yeah, I'm reading it in the paper now. Oh, what's it say? Shares in West Avarice plummet as CEO and founder Graham Westford is arrested for insider trading. Blake and Swanee have gone down too, but there's no mention of any cleaners. We're in the clear. Oh, my God, you're kidding. <laughs> we did it, babe. <laughs> uh, where are you now? Well, I'm just on my way home. OK, I'll meet you there and we can look at the shares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to go down any lower, babe. We just hold on a bit longer. Joking. <laughs> OK, I am cashing out now. 16,000. That's more than enough for our company, no? What, 2,000 is enough? 2,000. I have something I need to do with the rest. Starting late today, aren't we, Warren? Usually out harassing people by now. What do you want? I've got something for you. Can't stand around while you count it, but I think you'll find it's all there. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure, but it hasn't. You're a horrible little pig, and nothing makes me happier than never having to see your ugly mug ever again. And if, and if you ever go near my daughter again, I will destroy you. You understand? You've done yourself and the FCA proud. Well, I've had some lucky breaks with this one. We'll be looking to reassign you, of course, but we might put you on an extended leave for a while, just until the dust settles. Unless there's any loose ends you need to clear up before we move you on. Is there anybody else we should be watching? Or is it case closed? You're 30 minutes late. You'll stay behind to make up time. No, I don't think I will, Victor. I'm leaving. I just came in to get some things. You need to give notice. There is big mess in research bathroom. Oh. Then I believe you're gonna need this. <laughs> Look what came through this morning. <laughs> it's official! We're a company! <laughs> well, have you got the list? Every law firm in central London with the mergers and acquisitions department. <laughs> ah! Oh, you star. Come on, then, let's get to it. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> Hi there. Uh, my name is Samantha Cook, and I am the manager of an exciting new cleaning company. I was wondering if you uh, had any time today to hear about our incredible servant. You could have been sweet as wine. You could have been a lady. 